If you want to support the channel to the next level, make sure to check out my new Patreon for some amazing rewards that you might be interested in. Again guys, the quality on this video is not going to be the greatest, I had to take the Twitch VOD and edit it to make a YouTube video, so I do apologize for the quality that this video is going to be in. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see some more new world content in the future. I know I'm a small content creator, but let's see if we can get about 15 likes on this video just to show that you guys are enjoying this content. That's enough rambling from me, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> That is the weirdest dance. Is that just like slash dance? Yeah, you can slash dance. Some weird ass animation on it. Get him! Okay, so how... How would I get into the faction? Because I bounced out of that thing. Didn't want to, you know, choose it and then choose the wrong one. So... Maybe press J. Okay, this has and um, check I, if you have the quest for it. No, the only thing I have is town projects. You went through the quest where you helped each of the three factions, right? I did. Actually, the only f go through those those two. Yeah, 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 yeah. The alchemist, the justice. Yeah, I did those. I think the last one I talked to was uh, the Covenant one. Yeah. And they're this like, what, what do you want to choose? Yeah, and they said, what do you want to choose? And it had me go through, like, the pages, and it's like, choose one. And I was like, oh, no, let me back out. But let's go back. I'm going to go back to, like, the, the Covenant one, just because he's the one that was doing that quest. But it didn't even prompt me to, like, press a button to do it. Um, what if you go to your K menu, check out your character, and go to bio? Okay, bio. There's that. No company, no faction. Follow the story quest and join a faction. You can make spikes in my No way. <laughs> really? When are we playing DayZ again? Well, we gotta get a day set up for that. And we gotta get the damn uh, server fixed, too. The server's all fucked right now. Yeah, if I go to bio, it says, follow the story quest, join a faction. So I guess that is a bug they need to fix. If you back okay. out of that. Go back to your journal and see what quest you got. Oh, the only quest I have, I have nothing. I have two town projects. So weird. Um... I, th I think I found a bug. I, I don't think any they expected anybody to back out of it. You broke it. Yep. Um, Talk to the the head chief guy. Um, the, uh, throws on me again, son of a bitch, come on. Here we go. Well, and I shot. <laughs> Greetings and welcome, I'm the overseer of the settlement, consider me the right hand of the government. And that's it. Yeah, I think I, I don't think that they expect anybody to bounce out of that, that screen. Wait, wait, go to the map, you might have your filters turned off. Filters. Click. I got... No, I have all of them open. Everything's got the eyeballs fully open. Yep. Here we go, select faction. Okay. Marauders. Oh, I didn't see what I was supposed to do. Alright, so we gotta go to the faction representative. Okay, so that's the person on the boat over here. Okay, cool. Like, the last person I talked to, it's weird. At least they could have given you, when you're in your bio, talk to the magistrate. You know what I mean? Instead of, join a faction. You just say <laughs> Fucking margin. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Alright, so. Like, for rewards. Okay, so we got some PvE stuff here that we can do. Okay, cool. These tokens, Marauder tokens, buy rewards. Okay, cool. And each city, each city is separate from the other cities. Okay, kind of like Black Desert then. No. Okay, talk to the magistrate you get again. Up one city, you can complete it anywhere, but you got to turn back into the city you got it from. Okay. 
you can have three quests per city active at a time, or all six if you really wanted to, but that would be silly. <laughs> Okay, so what am I getting on this one? Oh, weapons! Okay, come on, give me another musket. And it froze again. Okay, there we go. I think I just need, I need to re restart um, the game every once in a while. It may have, like, a memory lake. Why is there a deer running through town? <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? I love how they scream when they use that little, that blink ability. <laughs> yeah, since this game crashed on me, I, my three hour long recording got corrupted. So, no YouTube video on this, guys. See, this is 1.5k away. Where is this? This is actually heading me to another settlement. It's um, on my other, on the other server. That's where I was at. Was at that settlement. It's heading us to. But we're actually going north up to Dagger in the Mist. I need to get a better musket. I should have checked the trading post and see if I could have gotten a better one. Okay, so your sword is purple. So is that through the augmentation? Nope. How's it purple? Just enchanting or what? It's magic. Like, so it just has a magic attribute, so it changes the like the color? Yep. Okay, cool. If it had a fire attribute, it'd be flaming. If it had a lightning attribute, it would be sappy. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I saw I a yellow one like that. And I thought, because yeah. I had a augmented sword. I think these are guys that are flagged as PvP. They, they were, f there was another guy flagged. And they were attacking him, and he was bitching about it. And I'm sitting here like, that's why you don't flag. <laughs> yep. He's like, come on, guys, stop! <laughs> Your own fault, you dumbass. <laughs> well, if you accept one of the PvP quests by accident, it Oh, shit, you really? Into... Yeah. Trying to shoot him. Oh well. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go to sword. I only got 27 bullets left. Do you loot the random crates around? Yeah. If I if I happen to see them. Right. I'm always throwing away bullets. Oh really? Yeah. You can sell them. Like, I, I buy like 200 pretty much at a time. Well, audit. Are you, I'm heading out. to bed. Alright, Majin. You have a good one, mate. Say what? Did I drop like a thousand just uh, a couple hours ago? Oh, wow. My bank is getting full. Yeah, I'd buy like 200 at a time. I'll probably stick with the sword for right now. Oh, come on, don't freeze on me. Come on. Okay. Oh. What level are you? Uh, 12. Need a bathroom. Alright, I love you. Hey, Blazy, what's going on? How you doing? Check if these are any good. Oh, coming. Did you get all the things, or did that guy run by and scoop them up? I think he scooped up, uh... I think it was just a fire staff. It was just, like, the local... Like two things, I think you grab. Yeah. When you see those pouches, you can just press E without going into your inventory, and you can just grab everything all at once. Oh, okay. Better to do it in your inventory than on the ground. Yep, yeah, true. It's people will do that. They'll just come over and slurp up all your items. Yeah, they need to fix, like, kind of fix something like that, or fix it, or do do some kind of a fix for it. Have an actual trading system. Yep. Which I think they... No, they don't. Yeah, I actually have a trading system because if you're trying to do something like that, you're, you're going to get an idiot. You're, every MMO is going to have that one brain-dead player, you know? 
here, I'll trade you this item for this. Nope, I got it, I'm logged out. Yep. You're already level 12, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm leveling up like super quick. Alright, we gotta search chests here. I don't mind doing that. Get this. A new sword ability here. I want the shield bash, reverse stab, slashing attack, transition. Stab move. Leaping strike. Strike on my R. Right, let's check the boat. I like the quest that tell you, hey, get these supply crates, and it actually gives you loot instead of it just being like, gives you nothing just because it's a quest objective. Ah, where'd you go, bitch? Oh, I was trying to do the leap that close. <laughs> I got nine more bullets. Wait. One second. What? Oh, for some reason it unequipped them. I got like 119 shots left. I don't know why. I... I'm trying to figure out how come that had such low bullets. It like it unequipped them for some reason. All right, we got that. Uh, I got to go to the gray mist about. Here. What's up? Southwest. What's up? Oh, all right. How much did that give? Me? Yeah, 140 now. Yeah, Venom was looking at this game when uh, she just went to talk to to Majin. She's all, "Ooh, I'm like what?" She goes, "This looks. I like the way this looks." Get, oh, missed the shot. There we go. I think she'd like this just because of the way the like the way some of the systems work on it. They won't leave WoW for it. Well, no, it's not going to be a game you leave WoW for, no. It's just, it'll be another game that you would enjoy playing. You know what I mean? But Locke did say that there are raids and stuff. I would love to get around. Uh, this isn't a subscription MMO, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. This. I could put down this game without worrying about your power running out. Yeah. Yeah. More like Guild Wars 2 than well. Actually, yeah, it is, really. Let me get a hit in so I can get some XP. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one, Venom, you with your bow and gun, there is no locking on. You press the button and it, it does a roll if you hit or not. No, it goes by your aim. That's I like that. Headshots. Yeah, headshots are crit and Actually, they're not crit, they just do more damage, because you actually have a skill that, that headshots will increase your headshot damage by 10 or 20%. And for swords, there's back damage, backstab damage. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. Alright, that's pretty much it. Step four, let me see. I don't think that's it. You're never going to kill anything. It's actually a lot easier to aim. I mean, you don't have to use a gun or, or anything. Well, shit. Stop moving! <laughs> when aiming works, you need to aim uh, to the right of the target. You're going to hit with the range attack. To the right? I'm actually going to check that musket real quick, because my musket's pretty... Oh, no, that musket right there is even worse. Um, okay, let's head, well, yeah, let's head back down to the settlement. I want to see if I can find a, a better musket to buy. Then we're, I need to go to the other settlement in the other uh, zone. But there's a lot of inspiration to Black Desert Online that I see, because, like, the housing system, the banking system, 
it all like you know remnants of black desert which isn't a bad thing like that's i can't wait for crimson desert to come out because it's supposed to be a pve version of black desert they're supposed to have more in-game uh dungeons and raid content instead of it just being you know in-game pvp and i i can't stand it memos like that where that's that's the end game is pvp you finish up your area? Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, going, heading back to the. Uh, it's the quest now is leading me to another area. You know what I mean? Oh. I thought you I'm just said you had the main quest thing up here. No, no, it was going. The main quest is going up to um, um, Ever Everfall. I'm just heading down over here so I can put stuff up and buy a better musket. Yeah, I got a mark over here for, I think, the one I just did. Dagger in the Mist. That's showing up on the map. It did that to me earlier, too. It didn't show up on the map uh, where the quest was at, but I just followed the, the marker on the compass. Your map might be bugged. Yep. You may have to turn it off and turn it back on. Filters should be not points of interest. I got you, respawn, points of interest, outpost, and faction influence. That's all I got. Just turn everything off and back on. Nah, still not there. It might be in an options. I mean, I mean, it's still on the compass, so I don't. Not that bothersome. All right, what was I getting for this one? An armor case. Let's see what we got. Open. Got a hat that is not good. I'm actually going to grab this augmented one. It's a 274 gear score compared to my 224. Damage is 112 instead of 100. It's socketed. Thrust is 112 over 100, so grab that one. What gems do you put in the sockets? Like, I wonder if it's a consumable or resource. It's an item you get from... <clears throat> you can either craft some, or you can earn some from chests and uh, okay. drop stuff. Okay, well wait, what are they? Because I may have some. Uh, I only just started getting them when I was doing uh, portals. Okay. Don't worry about that. Keep this until then. Grab a little bit more ammo. Another reason why I really like this MMO is because I'm usually a solo player. Like, this gives you the opportunity to be a solo player in this world. And I really, really like that. I just got a harvesting trophy. He won. This trophy inspires you when placed in your house. It grants a small bonus when using a scythe for harvesting in the wilderness. Oh shit! Welcome back, Erlotion. I wonder how much a house is. Jerry just bought one and he said it was very expensive. Here's this house. 3,015 uh, standing level. To get this house. Yeah, three thousand is kind of expensive. Yeah, it's not undoable. I mean, it'd be easier for me to get it if I didn't use projectiles. But <laughs> well, once you start <coughs> hitting up some of the places that give tons of drops, and or you start crafting them pretty sure ranged stuff like arrows and bullets are crafted using engineering skill because i can craft arrows at at any campfire but yeah bullets yeah i have no fucking clue oh, over here in the crafting area all right Stone cutter. Oh wait, wait. 
Well, there's a workshop. Craft ranged weapons and trinkets. I wonder if you can craft Here. ammo. Uh, what are you at? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the one I was looking at on the map. Okay, yes. Bullets, yeah. I need engineering level 5. To craft those. How would I level that up? I got my workshop craft here uh, locked, but I need to get my engineering. 